Sirach 24 verse 1. Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. Mm -hmm. So, hey, so the, th the thing that the Lord has given unto his people is a special, special thing, man. All right? Because this wisdom is, is like none else. All right? The, the wisdom in this word is foolishness with the Most High. But this, this wisdom, this, this word that he sent unto us, man. You know, read that one more time, Bible Kishore. Come on. Wisdom shall praise herself mm -hmm. and shall glory in the midst of her people. You see that? So first off, it says shall glory herself. Man, you know you got to be a great thing to glory yourself. All right? You know, wisdom can do that, man, because wisdom speaks for herself. Come. All right? Where you you can you, true wisdom uh, can be uh, notified by people. All right, uh, not I mean anybody that's not a fool. All right, but those the wisdom of this Bible is going to be recognized by the elect. All right, and it says it's in the midst of her people. Okay, so it didn't say it's in the midst of all people. It's in the midst of her people, man, which are the Israelites. All right, go ahead. And uh, by the way, wisdom in the Hebrew is chachama. All right, that's wisdom. All right, or chacham, which is wise. Go ahead. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth, triumph before his power. See that? So, uh, let me do it. Let me read it again. Verse 2. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. See that? So it says, uh, in the congregation of the Most High. Is this not a congregation of the Most High, man? Come. He says, when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Come. All right? This is a congregation of the Most High. The, com the coming together, the assembly of his people. All right? And, and th that's where the Lord is going to be at. All right? Uh, one more time on that one. Because it's the end of it. In the congregation of the Most High mm -hmm. shall, her, uh, shall she open her mouth. And triumph before his power. See that? And triumph before his power. Because wisdom can't be uh, uh, talked, man. You can't defeat wisdom. You know, that, that's not something you, you can try to fight against it all you want to with foolishness. All right? But just because there's a lot of things coming out your mouth don't mean it's wise words, man. It could be all foolishness, all nonsense that's coming out your mouth. Even if they've spoken with eloquent words don't mean that it's something that's truly benefiting you. All right? Why? Wisdom cannot be exceeded. All right. Verse three, I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. See that? He came out of the mouth of the Most High, man. So he, the Lord spirited wisdom into the earth. All right. That was so he, he, he knew he can't create this word, this world without having wisdom out here because he knew it was going to be all types of folly happening. OK, so he, he, he said he, 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 wisdom came out of the Most High's mouth, man. And uh, now we have to we also understand that the Most High speaks through his men. Okay, so that means if the Most High speaks through his men and wisdom comes out of the Most High's mouth, that means wisdom has come out of his men's mouth. Okay, uh, let's get uh, Jeremiah, hold that and get Jeremiah 29 and 19. Because the, the, the Lord sent his men in these last days, his hopeful elect, to tell people what to do to get themselves together. Because who you call Christ is about to make his return and destroy this place, man. And if you don't get yourself together, children of Israel, if you don't repent, then you're going to be destroyed, man. Jeremiah 29, 19. Jeremiah 29, verse 19. Because they have not hearkened unto my words, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. rising up early and sending them, mm -hmm. but ye would not hear, saith the Lord. See that? So the Lord says he sends his prophets. Come. Rising up early and sending them. He sends his prophets to tell the people what are going to happen in the last days. So out of the Most High's mouth, out of his men's mouth, will come wisdom, will come wise words, okay? And, and, and so, so you, it says you, you will not hear, you have not hearkened, okay? So these people are going to uh, be destroyed because of that. Uh, let's get, uh, you can drop Jeremiah, let's get uh, 1 Chronicles 36 and 16. You know, so because you, you people will search uh, to and fro looking for wisdom, looking for understanding, looking for... Uh, What's the right path to take and what's the right way to go? 26. Uh, 36 and 16. Second Chronicles. Did it stop up first? It stopped All right, try Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. You know, we always say this through the Spirit, man. Hey, it's not about the man. Uh, you know, you ain't going to know all the scriptures, man. All right? You, you're going to be off sometimes. You're going to be. Uh, 
uh, your, your description might hit you, you know what I'm saying? And you might think it's somewhere else. You, you, you'll say a book and it's completely different, but you, the spirit knows where you're trying to lead to and Lord willing, the spirit will uh, guide you if it wants to be brought out. The scripture says, stand red lips. Uh, uh, so we, yeah, we're not going to be perfect. Man. Mm -hmm. you know, we try to bring it out to the best of our ability. That's right, man. You know, at the end of the day, we 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 working with uh, fleshly this flesh too. Come. You know, so the Lord says when we receive the spiritual bodies, we shall know all things, man. And oh. even now, He says know all things, man, because we got to prove everything that we're talking about. You know, in this society, people don't want to prove anything. You have to prove what you're speaking of. All right, go ahead. Second Corinthians thirty six uh, verse Chronicles. Second Chronicles, Salakia, thirty six verse sixteen. Mm -hmm. But we, but they mock. The messengers of Yahweh mm -hmm. and despised his words mm -hmm. and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. See that? So the, the Lord says uh, they misuse the prophets, man. They mock us. They make jokes. They talk smack. They think we're crazy. Think we're making up nonsense. All right? Because they misuse the prophets. The, the, the prophets were seen to be uh, forecasters, man. All right, we're the uh, uh, kingdom of heaven's forecasters. All right, we're the ones to tell you uh, the things that are to come. We're 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 t we're the ones to tell you about the uh, the weather uh, that's coming, man. All right, we're we're telling you about the harsh times and the harsh realities that's coming. All right, see this dude, he was humble last time when he came up. This dude in the wheelchair. Right, all right. Uh, but I, one day he didn't know he didn't see he didn't know me. Uh, I was down in Boca at, at a mall. And I see him up there, like, trying to uh, sweet talk in the Melakite. She telling me Jewish. She, like, smiling, laughing in her face. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, so it's funny when you see people in different songs. But, you know, the spirit be disguising how we look. <laughs> you know, I was standing almost right in front of him, man. And he didn't know it was me. They had a full-blown conversation with him. Jacob. Uh, you know? Boy. For real. So, uh, but, yeah, man, these people have, uh, well, that, that's perfect because the people have misused the prophets. Come. We telling Come. you how to be and how not to be. It, I can see if you know you got to work with uh, Amalekites and stuff like that, but if you just sitting up and you you making jokes with them and all types of folly, just just because you think they're attractive or something, man, you better get out of here with that nonsense, man. Huh. All right. Um, you have something? Well, I'm still looking. Okay. Oh, kind of. Well, uh, we can go back to that with the uh, Sirach. Sirach. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four and twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twenty-four. I don't know if you want. You should go like verse four. Sirach 24, verse 4. I dwell, I dwell in high places, and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. Mm -hmm. See that? <laughs> I dwell in a high place. My throne is in a cloudy pillar, man. Huh. So you, these people, they think they got uh, the most high in, in churches and buildings. All right, it don't work like that, man. He said, my throne is in a cl cloudy pillar. Y'all going to see that uh, not only is he in a spiritual realm, but they're going to see those chariots come down, man. They're going to see the throne of the Lord, man. You're going to see those chariots coming down, man. You're going gonna to see what uh, true power looks like and how true power is manifested in earth because the power y'all see is uh, celebrity fame, uh, benzes, mansions. That's how y'all see power, man. The dollar. The dollar. You know, but that dollar is about to collapse. True chaos in the streets. You're going to see the throne of the Lord, man. All right? You're going to see his true power manifest his earth. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 5. I alone come past the circuit of heaven mm -hmm. and walked in the bottom of the deep. See that? The Lord is all over, man. The Lord is everywhere, man. He, he He's omnipotent. Okay? He's in everything that, that breathes, that lives, even things that don't. His, his beauty is shown in all of his creations. All right? In the sun, the moon, the trees, the waters, everything speaks and breathes of the Heavenly Father. But you people de deny a creator. But now we always have to think of there is a creator. Who is the creator? Who are his people? These are key questions that need to be answered. All right? The Israelites are his people. They always have been and they always will be. All right, go ahead. What's going on, man? You know, the, the the heavenly designer, man. You 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 people, y'all love y'all uh, y'all time for y'all love your Michael Kors, 
all right? If y'all think those are great designers, wait until, uh, wait until the Lord is revealed, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 6. In the waves of the sea and in all the earth. See that? I just said in the, in the ocean, man. You go, if you go, y'all got, y'all live in Florida, so I know y'all, if y'all haven't been to the beach, that means y'all are terrible because y'all live in the state right by the beach. All right. But nonetheless, if you've been to the beach, man, those uh, those shores, those uh, when they crash against those, those waves crash against the shore, they don't go no further than what the Lord wants them to go to, man. That's beauty, man. OK, high tide, low tide, all controlled by the moon. This is all a, a, a great thing of the Heavenly Father showing his glory, man. You can't see the depths of the ocean. All right. He created the sand to be a breach for the for the waves. All right. Go ahead. Come on. Verse 7, with all these, it's a lot Verse 6, in the waves of the sea and in all the earth and in every people and nation, I got a possession. See that? Hey, the Lord got it. He has a possession in all of this. He created it, man. All right? Uh, all of you people that think something, some, oh, that guy, he's really good at this. That guy, he's really good at that, man. All right? The Lord deals all of this out, man. Every man his equal, every man his portion. Okay? But the, the elect of the nation of Israel are going to have something that supersedes everything that you people have seen before, man. All y'all, y'all like y'all Dragon Ball Z's, y'all Chronicle movies, y'all Superman, y'all Marvel, y'all Deadpool. All of this stuff, all of those powers, they came from the Bible, man. God. All right? All of that is biblical, and they try to turn it into something carnal in this earth. But the Lord's elect are going to receive spiritual powers. And they're going to be able to do all of that and exceeding more when he returns. Okay? Go ahead. Come Verse 7, with all these I sought rest, mm -hmm. and in whose inheritance shall I abide? Who's inherit? So now the Lord's asking a question, all right? In, in real talk, it's a, it's a red, uh, redundant question, but the Lord, the Lord already know the answer to this. He said, in whose inheritance shall I abide? All right, because uh, Deuteronomy, in the 32nd chapter, it says he's divided. Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, I think it's Deuteronomy 32 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. I was off a verse. Deuteronomy 32 verse 8. Uh -huh. When the Most High divided to the nations mm -hmm. their inheritance. See that? When the, when the Most High div So he divided everybody their own inheritance. All right? The, uh, the, the so-called Arab nation, the so-called Asian nation, the so-called uh, 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 white nation. All right? He divided every nation their own inheritance. Go ahead. Come on. When he separated the sons of Adam. Uh-huh. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. That's right. He according to the bounds of the people according to the number of children of Israel. So everything revolves around the children of Israel, man. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Sirach. All right. He said he he divided he divided every nation its inheritance. So after Israel got theirs, then everybody get theirs. Right. Whatever's left. And the Lord said in 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, that he made the world for Israel's sake. So this whole world was made for the children of Israel to rule over it. But he says he, he shall put a judgment upon us to mock us. So he put un, he put us under all of our oppressors. All right? But that's going to come to naught in a certain, when the Lord returns, man. We're going to receive our power to be the true kings and priests of the earth again. All right? Go ahead. Verse, uh, eight. Read that one you just read uh, in Sirach again. Sirach again. Hey, fellas, you mind if I take a picture of you? You can take a picture of the signs. Not of us, though. Not of you. Nah. You may remember me. Shalom, how are you? I remember you. In Yeshua, my brother, I, I appreciate what you're doing. I got a question. Um, yeah. Last time, I, I remember talking to you. Um, right. Are, are what you? What was your name again? Isaiah. Isaiah? Yeah. Luke. Good my pleasure, you. man. Yeah. Shalom. Yeah. What was your name, man? Bar. Huh? Bar. Bar? Yeah. Luke. Pleasure, man. Pleasure. My son, Daniel. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Like the book of the Bible. Yeah, so, uh, quick question. I, uh, I, I remember our last time we were talking about the Mark of the Beast when you were up here. Among other things. Among other things, right, but right. I, I predominantly remember that. Um, so, uh, I just heard you say Shalom when you come up here. So would you, would, is your ancestry go back to the so-called Jewish nation? Well, my friend, I, I think your, your question is focusing more on my genetics and to me my spirituality trumps my genetics okay so but genetics but are important I per se 
call myself an Israelite. I recall touching with you. You asked me where I was from last time. I told you I'm from Colombia. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, according to your chart there, I'm from the tribe of Asher. Right. Uh, and we talked about a couple other things. Having said that, mm -hmm. allow me to just share with you the following because uh, are you all familiar with a group called um, Israel United for Christ? Yes. Are you all affiliated with them? No. You're not? No. So you know who I'm talking about when I speak of, what's this gentleman's name, Nate Daniel? Absolutely. You know who he is? Yep. Am I right? Yep. Hey. Right. How you doing? What's your follow is it a follow-up question today, or you just wanted to ask Well, no, I wanted to ask you if you all were affiliated with them, because there are some things here that are up their alley, let's say. Fair to say? Right. Okay, Um. so let's but get... Just real quick, right. if I may address this one thing mm -hmm. that we talked about, since I'm talking about it right now, before I, we talk about anything else. Mm -hmm. So... I'm listening to you. Where, where I might take as respectful a reservation with your chart there as I can be, I'll start with just the word, man. So it says, Isaiah 11, 12. He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. Mm -hmm. He will assemble the scattered people of the tribe of Judah mm -hmm. from the four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. I didn't write that. It's right there in the same Bible you have. Obviously, that has not fully happened yet. As you all are aware, and I think you will agree, mm -hmm. I take reservation with modern-day State of Israel making the claim to the world that, hey, the people of God, the chosen people are all back here now. I think you'll agree that that's a lie. Absolutely. So that when the Almighty returns the four the Judah the tribe of Judah mm -hmm. from the four corners of the world mm -hmm. it's he who is going to do it I just read it that's true if that is true mm -hmm. then Judah cannot be solely in one place today okay. would you agree with that yes because the, our, 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 our friends over here at this IUIC, claim that African Americans from North America are the tribe of Judah. Okay. So, uh, Do you agree with that? Uh, predominantly, but there's Judah. Okay, let me, I'm going to answer a couple, because you asked a couple questions, so I just want to break through each part, okay? Right. Um, first, give me Zechariah 9, give me Deuteronomy 28, 64, and then give me Zechariah 9 and 6. Okay, so, uh, first off, I don't, we don't, uh, Nathaniel and the Israelite United in Christ, we don't uh, affiliate with them, so they are there are they are Israelites, all right. They do have that right. They are Israelites, and some of the things that they say are right, but they 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 are we we call them the modern day Pharisees, wicked Pharisees and Sadducees, because and they we, they lead our people straight through the spirit. When you say we, okay, so we, we we are we are uh, amongst great millstone. I'm sorry, great millstone. So you heard, you've heard of Israelite United in Christ. Okay, we there are different so called Israelite camps. All right, wow, so have different, have diff right, so different understanding. So have you ever seen GMS, Great Millstone? It's I've really seen a few different ones. Right. Okay. So um, now we have to understand. We we, we, don't, we don't affiliate with him because first of all, they call him Christ, and we know that that's not the name of the Lord. I agree. Okay. Uh, the word Christ simply means anointed. But all right, we're gonna read the scripture. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people mm -hmm. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Mm -hmm. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. Right. So the Lord said we were going to be scattered everywhere. All right. So our people will be dwelling amongst all people. So when they say that they are the so-called African-Americans, a big a portion of, according to this uh, the, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, we will, our people will be sold into slavery, into a, a new bondage that uh, we haven't been into before. So... When they say that the so-called African Americans are the tribe of Judah, they're not wrong in saying that. But there are members who are of the tribe of Judah scattered around the world. So just like uh, Southern Italy has uh, Sicilians there, 
all right? During, uh, the, the, during the Byzantine Empire, there were a lot of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi conquering in that land. So therefore, some southern Italians who we'll speak to today, they have the spirit of the Israelites, even though they might look like so-called white people. All throughout uh, Europe, All Turkey, throughout Europe. and parts of Russia, Asia, and those places like that. Mm -hmm. So, so the, just go ahead, select, this, select this. So a, a big portion of our people, the, uh, especially the tribe of Judah, is uh, in here in America. A lot of all of us, all the tribes are here. But our the uh, the so-called transatlantic slave trade, as you know, from the west coast of Africa, brought the so-called blacks here to America. So that's what they might mean when they say our African Americans. But we're scattered. There will be tribe uh, individuals from the tribe of Judah all over the world. So you would agree then that there are, I'll use the term Judahites, mm -hmm. in Colombia. Absolutely, yeah. But then this chart might be a little confusing in trying to make sense of why you have Colombia down there at the bottom, and for all for all uh, purposes, it's C O L O. I know. Yeah, we know it's spelled wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, yeah, we need to, we've been meaning to get a new sign. But besides that, um, so just because the, the, this sign is, uh, is is based on Ezekiel the thirty seven chapter, all right. Let's get Ezekiel 37 and 15 real quick. We'll drop it if I may interrupt you, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. Real quick, fellas. Just for whatever it's worth, may mm -hmm. I say, oh, also I speak to you in the most humble of ways. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to judge. If you all want to take one interpretation of one part of the Bible uh, that I may not agree with, that's okay. We don't always have to agree on everything. I still, I still will lend you the respect you're due. Mm -hmm. Question. What you know about that six-pointed star there, bro? Yeah, yeah, just pay not, pay not huh? to that either. Because that's, that's, uh, so just, people would say, people, yeah, we just need to get a new sign. It's pretty old. No, no, but nonetheless, anything, nonetheless uh, anything, there should be yeah, a menorah there, not yeah, a star. You're right. You're would right. you agree that's with true. that? You, I agree. And, and see, that's good you know things like that because that's actually the star of Rem fam. That's of course. Not, that's man. not the star of David. That ain't so. got nothing to do so, yeah, with Israel. Yeah, we know that. We that ain't got nothing to yeah, do with Israel. Not, nothing at all. And, a, lot, and, a lot of people get confused with yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. You know, but that's why you don't see us wearing uh, that on our yeah. chest and all like that. We don't believe in the signs. I'm and not all here to give you hard time. Yeah, no, you good, man. We're we having a discourse. Uh, not at all, man. Uh, uh, what verse did I take Ezekiel? Ezekiel 37. Oh, uh, Ezekiel 37 and 15. But see, the thing is, these, these, this right here is a prophecy that the, these nations will be joined together, but we mainly are able to identify based on the prophecies in Genesis, the 49th chapter, and Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter, and where people were migrated to predominantly, all right? But that don't mean you won't have uh, members of Judah living amongst members of Issachar, which are the so-called Mexicans. That don't mean you won't have members of uh, Levi, which are the so-called Haitians living amongst the tribe of Ephraim, which are the Puerto Ricans, all right? That doesn't mean that, all right? Because we were scattered everywhere. But the main portion of these people are known by the prophecy that was meant into the, in the Bible, all right? Okay. Uh, but yeah, Ezekiel 37 and 15. Okay, Ezekiel 37, verse 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, mm -hmm. Moreover, thou son of man, mm -hmm. take thee one stick mm -hmm. and write upon it for Judah, and for the children of Israel, his companions. See that? So this is the this is a stick, like a, not a literal stick, but this this right. is a prophecy going to come and pass in the latter days. Because if you know the story of uh, Jeroboam and Rehoboam in the Bible, they were the nation of Israel and the, and the nation of Judah, and they were divided at the time. All right. So when you hear uh, the nation, you hear Judah, which is mainly talking about Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right, and his companions, which are the, which are Israel which are Simeon on down to Issachar. The, that's the northern kingdom, and this is the southern kingdom. Right. So the Lord says, in the last days, thus said the Lord, we will be joined again unto one stick to remember our inheritance. Go ahead. May they hear you. Then take another stick mm -hmm. and write upon it mm -hmm. for Joseph, mm -hmm. the stick of Ephraim. Yeah, that's this Joseph, because Joseph had two sons, <laughs> Ephraim and Manasseh. All right, so this is the stick of Joseph. All right, go ahead. And for all the house of Israel, his companions. And all the house of Israel. So Judah's companions are Benjamin and Levi. Uh, Benjamin's, Ephraim's, uh, or Joseph's companions are Simeon, Benjamin, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar. All right, go ahead. Verse 17. And join them one to another mm -hmm. into one stick. We join again into one stick. We're not having that division amongst us anymore because we're all the same people. We just. We might have different 
through history and through sure. culture, we we have different traits now. Of course, you know, but we're all the same people. Nobody right? does no that nobody does Shabbat the same way. What do you mean by that? Well, you I, mean like go ahead. I'm sorry. I, mean, I you imagine know. you all honor the Shabbat. Absolutely. It's not so, today, right? No, uh, today is Sunday. It's tonight. No, no, no. Yeah. It's tonight. Your Shabbat, Sunday? Mm -hmm. Shabbat in your in your interpretation. Mm -hmm. Start when? Okay, so uh, let's get Genesis one and fourteen, uh, because, like you said, nobody does a Shabbat the same way. But it's not on Friday to Saturday. Okay, okay when is uh, the, the Sabbath is based on the new moon, because the moon is the only thing that has been steadfast in time since the beginning. All right, you can't go based on Friday to Saturday because that's a Roman Gregorian calendar that was created uh, in time by man. All right, the Lord says we we use the uh, the moon as our uh, dividing time. But Genesis one and fourteen. Well, you're, you're, you're assuming that all Shabbat Friday to Saturday. No, I'm saying it's not. No, but you're saying in the way you just explained that that all those who keep Shabbat Friday to Saturday are following a Gregorian yes, calendar. Yes. Yes. But because you can, you can put the Gregorian calendar to a sign and go with a Hebrew uh, uh, calendar and it happens to begin think, Friday think night. Think about this, think about this. The Most High took Israel out of Egypt into the wilderness. They didn't have anything but their possessions. Mm -hmm. The only thing they had was the Most High. How were they able to tell time? Sure, through and the, the And the length of time. Through astronomy. Okay, through the moon. Right. So sun going up, they sun going down is a, sun going down, sun going up is a day. Yep. Right? So the, the lengths of months come through the moon. That's how we can tell how long we've been in a certain area when it comes to months. Yeah, they didn't have they okay, didn't have so a calendar to say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So if you're in right. a building this somewhere and there's an economic collapse, how are you gonna be able to tell but what, I mean, how long you've been in a certain area? I could also say to you, then when is the beginning of that seventh day, Exodus twenty, the Ten Commandments themselves. So, yeah, we're about to get it for you. Uh, first, get Genesis one and fourteen. I mean, how? In, in other words, Genesis you know, one verse fourteen, mm -hmm. and Yahweh said, "Let there be lights in the firmament of heaven, mm -hmm. to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years." Right. So as the Sabbath is a Sabbath day. He says, "Let the, Which is the let seventh day." Uh, so okay, the Bible reads calls right, it the seventh, seventh day. day. So right, so you use the moon to allocate seven days after another. So okay, because the new moon represents a new season. It's, it, it, a new means to be ref, uh, refresh. All right, so a new when you don't see a moon in the sky, that's a new moon. So every every uh seven days after that new moon is a new Sabbath. So this week the Sabbath is on Sunday night to Monday. I mean Monday. It's Monday to Tuesday. Yeah, Monday night. Uh, I say Sunday. My bad for misinformation before. But Monday night to Tuesday evening. All right, that's the Sabbath for this this time period. So when the next new moon uh, is refreshed. You, it'll it'll start on another day. It might be Tuesday night to Wednesday night. So the seventh day is a different day every week. Every month. Every month. Every, every month. month. Right. Um. Uh. Let, you you know what the uh, get a. Sirach forty three. No, oh, you already here. Go ahead. Yeah, the water. Go ahead. See, he about, he about to he, even the word. He about listen to this one real quick. Go ahead. Y'all ever heard Sirach thirty uh, forty three, verse six. He made the moon also to serve in her season mm -hmm. for a declaration of times right. and a sign of the world. See, he made the moon as a sign, as a declaration of time. So to be able to tell time, you have to be able to look at the moon and tell when is a new moon. Because, you know, the moon has phases. It has the new moon, the waning crescent, the waxing crescent, the, uh, the uh, full moon. All of those are a declaration of times. Go ahead. Verse 7. From the moon is the sign of feces. Mm -hmm. A light that the that a light that decreases in her perfection. Okay, go ahead. The month is called after her name. See that even the month is the word uh, month comes from the word moon. Yeah, so it was just a full moon, just a couple days. Ago. Right, and that will let you know we're in the middle of the month. Right. Okay, hold on, hold on. So when was it? Just a couple days ago, I remember it was a full moon. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me is that what that full moon? Yes. Marked what day? Then? The middle months. You're in the middle part of the month. Right. So this is uh, listen, like listen, listen, this, this, it says right here. It says the moon. It says the moon is is the sign of feces, a light that decreases in 